What is up, everybody? Back with another pair of what is crazy to say, uh, low heat. Pretty much everything is these days. There's very few pairs um, that are like high heat, you know, in that category of sold out immediately, people using bots on them. They're actually holding resale prices for, you know, uh, double the double the retail price. Uh, there's not many of those out there anymore. Maybe the newest uh, uh, Cactus Jack, Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1s, maybe the Verdi Dunks, but very few uh, releases these days I would consider uh, high heat. That being said, these for sure would have been back a few years. Um, I know that conversation is probably a little tired at this point, but I think it is interesting, um, you know, test uh, if these would have been like bangers back then. Uh, I mean, some stuff was crazy. Like any, virtually any GR colorway of Dunks was like, you know, 250 to $500. That's insanity. That, you know, that's insanity. But like, let's say, you know, towards the tail end, would these have been sold out and flipped? Um, I think that's still worth kind of holding a, a test to these. So we, what do we got here? What am I talking about? We're talking about the women's Air Jordan 4 uh, Retro OG Special Projects SP and Fossil Stone. These are the Air Jordan Amamani Air Air Jordan 4s uh, while you were sleeping. Very uh, fitting fitting uh, name for these uh, because, well, you know, everyone was kind of starting to sleep on the brand. Scandals. People definitely slept on these. So um, definitely an appropriate name. Uh, and they are a women's release, as many of these were, many of the Amamani Air cl uh, collaborations were. It's kind of in this in this unique fold-out Jordan box, as you can see, Jordan branding there. Um, no real other branding, just uh, because I assume once you unveil it, there is the Amamani Air signature. Uh, no dust jacket sleeve, like typical. Uh, all right, before I do the grand unveiling, got to plug the channel. Please subscribe. It's free. It's the only free subscription nowadays, you know, uh, and I appreciate all you who have subscribed. Any new people checking out this video? Uh, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, so that's cool. I got invited to the YouTube uh, creator community program. It's just a way they, they, they help small uh, creators, uh, you know, beef up their channel, make better thumbnails, make better search engine optimization etc so anyways that's pretty cool and I'm, I'm i'm dabbling with the idea of making different types of content you know my top five worst purchases you know best you know top five biggest uh best purchases stuff like that fall fall sh my favorite fall shoes so if you want to see those videos leave uh, a comment encourage me to do it and maybe i'll do it maybe even toying with the idea of opening it doing a new channel new type of content so who knows anyways follow me on instagram follow me here and uh yeah appreciate you watching all right here we go Ooh, a, a open box definitely put a lot into the packaging packaging is dope love good packaging sometimes i wish they'd dial back on the packaging you know less waste etc drop the cost because these were what 225 i think retail 225 with taxes, shipping, fees, or I guess there's no fees when I, I got these. I got these off the site, off drop day. I was like, definitely late for the drop, but they were sitting. And I just went in this kind of, it was an impulse buy, instant buy, 260 So the taxing. So sometimes as cool as this packaging is, back to my point, as cool as this is, you got to get that the embossed reflective top. Kind of looks like a ceiling there uh, with the Ama Manier repeat logo uh that's cool i kind of wish like what if they did this in simple boxing i mean that's got to take five bucks off the cost 220 you know eight bucks off the cost uh and then then that goes to the consumer this is a cool sham here cool dust cloth you know sometimes i like it but in this economy you, you know shoes are getting more expensive more expensive you know you take this thing out um you know, lower the cost by 10 whole dollars. That would be nice. I don't know. But then it makes the shoe less unique. So, you know, you got to make it unique some way. Um, you know, that's a, that's part of doing it. So here we go. Ooh, ooh. All right. This is pretty nice. Initial reaction in hand per usual. 
very rare when a shoe's not better in hand. There are some times, I, I've done it on this channel, some videos where, you know, in hand it's like, eh, this isn't quite hitting like they looked in the picture, but more often than not, in hand is better than the photos. You just are really able to see the texture differences, the subtle shade differences, all the details better. Um, then just a little thumbnail on your phone. So uh, for sure, initial reaction, these are better in hand. Yeah, uh, for sure, for sure. Like these a lot. Okay, all right, now that I've kind of like let these sunk in, don't click away now that you've seen them. Lots more to talk about, lots more to talk about. I'll try these on, um, talk about some pricing, uh, whether you should cop or not. So we'll get, we'll get into all that, don't click away. Uh, for the first time ever, I didn't do a ton of research. Not that I do a ton of research, but, you know, I'm raw dog in this review here, this unboxing. Uh, I didn't watch the promotional materials. Uh, kind of cooled on James Wintner a little bit since the scandal with the reselling overseas to China. Um, he did a recent interview with Complex. I did not watch that, but I think the gist of it is basically he kind of admitted guilt with actually re admitting guilt. And before... We get into, you know, before you hard, hard judge him, you know, it is awfully tempting, uh, you know, when you're successful to make a cool extra, you know, chunk of cash, um, you know, before you judge in the comments. I mean, I'm not approving of it in any way, but just before you judge, just two things. A, all the other artists and celebrities that you like that have done, you know, unscrupulous things, you know, you know, Drake you know, uh, Kanye, I don't think anyone's siding with P Diddy, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, and you kind of give them a pass. Uh, and, and then you yourself, anytime, you know, you've taken more than you should have, uh, you know, it's, it's awfully tempting. Everyone, I mean, there's a few people out there in James situation who wouldn't uh, do that. I know uh, there's, there's, there's some innocent people out there that would never do that, but it is awfully tempting, you know, you, they put the Halloween bucket of candy out, says take two, take one. I mean, how many people are tempted to take a handful or more, empty it? I know if some of you watching, you know, be brutally honest with yourself. You've finessed things at times, taken more than you should have, uh, you know. So just be careful before you pass judgment. That's all I'm saying. Again, I've cooled on the brand and him since. It's not great to see, but I'm not, you know, he's he's not a mass murderer either, so... Uh, first thing, they come with extra set of laces. Not all his shoes or their shoes came with an extra set of laces. So I'm interested, uh, curious why these did. I guess they had, again, they put so much money into the extras on these. Um, shoes are so expensive. Now, I can already tell that these are probably not going to be the most comfortable. Jordan 4s to begin with are not the most comfortable. Uh, and these I, I, are probably no exception. Ooh, they came with some cream laces there. Those might hit nice. It is kind of with some of their shoes the you know the the uppers are all kind of one color monochromatic so you swap out laces then you break it up a bit so usually I'm a fan of contrasting laces but when the whole upper is one theme uh monochromatic like this or one color I kind of don't like messing that up uh I do like these like light yellow cream off white laces Kind of matches some of like their other shoe colorways you know the the amamanier jordan threes come to mind uh but i think it's i think personally i think for the uh, the rare time i like keeping the 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 laces on color you got your hang tag here oh back back to the uncomfortability i'm gonna put these on a second but you got you, you got these hard edges stitched edges here around the top and the tongue Plus this quilted uh, sock liner here, which looks dope, but I know um, isn't the most comfortable. A little slippy slidey. Jordan 4s aren't the most comfortable on the sole either. Uh, I did get the first pair of these. This is the second colorway, as you probably know. Uh, I did an unboxing on that. Check that out. Uh, I That one was actually, although I liked it, actually my least favorite of all their different collaborations. I love the ones, I love the twos, uh, the threes I love obviously, even the black ones, and I'm not a black shoe guy. Um, the fives really liked, I didn't get them, but um, I liked the twelves, uh, and I liked the four, but this, this whatever this is, this purple 
taupe colorway just wasn't you know i ended up getting rid of them uh i like these much better i like these much better but anyways yeah i can tell these aren't gonna be in co super comfortable there's the insole inside there if you can kind of see that yeah furry suede around the 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 toe here around the, like the mud guard uh black breaking up uh the upper layer of the insole here that cream off-white outsole uh, goes all the way to the bottom kind of got that burgundy hits on the heel and the toe same with the nike there nike air on the back uh yeah the amamani air cardboard hang tag got the air window there and just like a normal jordan 4 upside down there's the air jordan stitching on the inside and the amamani air flight logo on this one and the jump man on the right shoe jump man flight uh uh, square logo on the patch on the right shoe so really overall uh super super clean looking definitely gives off the vibes of um man the the off-white jordan fours like these oh, these would people would have gone crazy like three years ago for these uh especially if these came right after let's say you know the the on air jordan threes dropped which i got those uh, check out that video. Once after those dropped, if this was like the follow up, people would have been like, you know, lost their lost their minds. Yeah, um, people would have definitely lost their minds over this one. Uh, definitely has vibes of that off white Jordan Four, and I think they did you know some general releases that were a little like that Jordan Four. Um, this one at least breaks up the. It's not all one color though. That off white Jordan Four is all that cream color or cream or off white color. This definitely has you know. Uh, the black hits here and the burgundy hits so a little different uh but yeah all right let's try these on yeah if you're interested in these um there's the under the side the whole inside is that silver this is cool again cool cool packaging dope packaging uh if you're interested in these these are these these definitely did not sell out initially uh as you might know but now in looking on the on online it seems like they all slowly sold out um, that being said, the resale prices are, are basically retail. Unfortunately, if you want them now, they're listed at retail or under retail. But like, you know, once you pay fees and shipping and taxes off a whatever resale platform you use, it will probably be, um, you know, more than retail. Now, I got these for 260 If you happen to get these off of, uh, I think, Nike or sneakers, you would have got them cheaper because they do free shipping, uh, etc., um, but yeah, you're going to be probably paying at least 260 probably north of it. Maybe you can get them from a sneaker shop, uh, a sneaker resale shop, but you know, they, they're probably going to be taxing too. Cause if they, I don't even know if they would have bought these to be honest, cause they, you know, they were sitting from the, from the jump. So they probably wouldn't have bought them unless they, they were able to buy them under retail. Then maybe, then maybe you can cop them. Maybe that resale shop, um, you know, lists them for a, de a decent fair price maybe cause they can still make money. Uh, I don't know. I have on today the military blues, uh, military four blues, and talk, check out this unboxing. Talk about underrated shoe. First time ever these like retro properly, and just so slept on. I, I got these. I've worn these a bunch. Got them muddy. Haven't even wiped them off. I had three pairs at once. Sold two. I'm down to just this pair. If I had more money, more space, I would have kept all three pairs. In fact, if I if I you know come into some more money, more space, etc. I might gonna go back double up if I can get a good price on these. Like it, it again, it's, this looks like the SB4. Green, granted, I think most people like the green color better, but not, I mean, that's not even true. I personally like green, but I know a lot of people out there like blue better. Blue's in general a more popular color than green. Um, you know, the construction's different and those those SB4s are more comfortable. They have the hit of red. Uh, it's kind of unique with the SB branding, but like, come on, it's basically the same and these are sitting and, and the SBs go for double. Uh, I don't know. I, I do not understand how uh, these are not more popular. Uh, I know they made a ton of them. So for like the, the price, you know, point, etc. For reselling, uh, I get it. Uh, these aren't like worth a ton, and so that kind of affects popularity. But just I, I don't know. These go with everything. Uh, I love this shoe. Uh, I think these are great. Again, you know, if I have money, 
or space. I just don't have money in space, you know. It's just I would I would ha I would ha be doubled up on these, hundred percent would be doubled up on these. Uh, just had to make have to make tough decisions, you know. I got more shoes coming in. Another reason to subscribe and follow uh, the channel. Got more shoes coming in. I I do not have the money to be spending on them, but I do it because I'm a sick addict, and I do it for you guys, the the few loyal followers that I have. And so, yeah, so stay tuned. More shoes coming in, more unboxings and reviews. Got a heater coming in. Uh, got some Asics. Uh, what else do we got? Yeah, got a, got some heaters coming in and um, a pair of Asics coming in. So you'll definitely want to check out uh, those unboxings. Very excited. Very excited. All right, let's put these on. Now, usually I pair my socks with what I'm going to put on, but sometimes I purposely leave on socks that are going to clash or not go with the shoes I'm about to try on, just because if the shoes still hit, even with socks that aren't a great choice, you know they're a good shoe, or maybe they're just a good sock. Yeah, I mean, that you could say that, but but um, like these, you know, might, might not be the choice for uh, these... Uh, Mirakami socks, Road Museum stance socks might not be the choice for these, but the shoe still looks good. It just looks good, you know? All right. Yeah. As expected, these look super clean on feet. Uh, comfort, I can tell. I mean, it's a super stiff shoe. So if you're old like me and comfort really matters, you know, be wary. Know what you're getting yourself into. If you're young, and you can basically walk around barefoot or in Converse chucks, uh, beat Converse chucks all day, then like, what do you care? But um, yeah, if you, if you don't know, Jordan 4s, they're not like um, music festival, uh, Disneyland, all day touring in New York type of uh, tight beat shoe, you know? These are definitely just for a function where you're going to be seated or for a, just on your feet for a few hours or standing and seated. These are, these are not all day walking shoes. And yeah, especially these, look, they're just squeaking. They're just squeaking and I'm not even walking. But, you know, for us sneakerheads, anyone watching this channel, you know, it, it isn't just about walking. These aren't just utilitarian things. Otherwise you wouldn't be spending $250 on shoes. Uh, you know, you just buy some uh, Monarchs or New Balances and be done with it. Uh, so, these uh, look super clean. You know, it's a little, uh, a little cliche for sure, but these are your, your, your quintessential, you can dress these up, you can dress these down shoes. Like, definitely. Uh, not too crazy, super clean, a little unique. Uh, they're just the elevated classy Jordan 4s, you know, and that's kind of what Ama Manier is. It's like an elevated streetwear store. And so I think it's very on brand. Definitely like these. I wish these were just, you know, more high heat. And, you know, I wish the, that these resold for more. It'd be tempting to maybe resell these, but uh, I like them. I like them. I'm happy to rock these. Can't really sell these, so I'm happy to rock these. I'm glad I like them for how much they were. Uh, these are dope. So I'd like to know what you guys think about these. Leave a comment if you're still watching. I appreciate you. It's a long video. Uh, leave a comment, see what you think about these. And then let me know too. I'm thinking about maybe picking up some other low heat. The Air Max Sunder Gore-Tex. Um, there's uh, some maybe Air Max TNs. Uh, maybe some Asics. Uh, maybe some uh, New Balance uh, 991 V2s made in UKs. There's a lot of potential shoes that I'm feeling about, you know, potentially picking up the Silver Surfer Dunks, the Ceramic Dunks. So uh, if, if I named off any of those that you're kind of interested in, uh, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll consider uh, picking them up, doing an unboxing. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe because I got more uh, shoes on deck. Peace. Oh. Wait, almost gave, forgot to give these a ranking. Uh, let's go. These aren't a nine. 
I think these meet uh, eight territory. They're clean. Let's go 8.25. Super clean, good materials. It's a little, little feels a little plasticky, this, uh, this uh, whatever this is, this new buck, this thick, but it's thick. It's thick. Uh, I'd go true to size on the sizing. Almost forgot the rating and this. I'd go true to size. Uh, that's, the, that's the sizing. 8.25 is my rating and quality on the, on the, on the materials. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pretty decent, but not like, it's like thick. It's not like super plush or anything, but it's like definitely thick cut pieces of whatever this is. Stiff nubuck. So yeah. All right. Peace.